hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and welcome back if you are a returning subscriber i'm jasmine and i've been gone for over a year so i wanted to give a life update before i actually jump back into videos because i plan on jumping back in but i i like everyone else on youtube i thought it would be weird if i was gone for a long time and then surprise just came back if you don't follow me on instagram i'm very active on instagram so follow me there so let's get into the updates let's do the twins updates first because i feel like that's why a lot of you guys are here so rewinding back to 2021 uh let's see august of 2021 the twins both trey and jeremiah were diagnosed with autism uh they showed some signs of autistic behaviors very about after they turned two i just started noticing little things here and there and i was concerned and they usually see a doctor and nick you follow up anyway so i asked the doctor you know about autism i explained to them what i was seeing what i was noticing and i was i was less concerned that it was a like speech delay because they're also the biggest one is they're they're not talking but there were behaviors that came with it like Trey stems with his hands and we have frequent meltdowns but that's a whole nother video so if you want to if you want a video talking about signs that I've seen in the twins for autism then leave me a comment below and I will make a video but that's not what this video is for uh in 2021 September Trey got his cochlear implant and I'm so happy that he got his cochlear implant. Um, if you don't know, Trey has ANSD, which is auditory neuropathy spectrum disorder, and in both ears. So he got his left cochlear implant done in September. And Jeremiah, who I feel like the video of Jeremiah's morning routine or his trait change has like 25K views on it. So I feel like that's where most of you guys came from. He actually got his trach out in October of 2021. So he no longer has his trach and he's been doing so well. Like we did get COVID. Well, they got COVID. I didn't get it. Uh, we They did get COVID and he, it was great. Like a charm. Like he, he was sick. Like don't get me wrong, but he didn't require any oxygen or any hospitalization. So that's just a sign that we did. Like we did the right thing for moving his trach. Like we know he can handle it. Um, with sickness and all of that so those are the major updates with the twins and if you want a video about Trey's cochlear implant I don't have a problem doing a video about that either and I did not film the trick decannulation on my camera I do have videos that I posted on Instagram and I'm going to upload this video on Thursday so it's actually trick awareness that was a dryer it's actually trick awareness week this week so i'm gonna be uploading stuff on instagram so that's the twins updates family updates um tj is doing well i don't show tj or talk about anything personal about him because he is 10 and if he doesn't want something shown or talked about then i won't talk about it he is doing well though i feel like when we first came home when everybody first came home from the hospital, it was a shell shock and then we had COVID. So we were in the house all the time, all just me and the kids basically because Tashwan had the work. And it just was a lot on him, but he's doing so much better now that he's, they're back, he's back in school and yeah, he's doing great. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about where the channel is going. Uh, initially I started Instagram as an outlet and to bring awareness to um, the things that I was going through and the twins were going through and I still want to be that person I still want to normalize certain things like normalizing a trait so I didn't know a lot so I once I dived in and, and did my research and knew what was going on I wanted to let other parents mothers know that it's okay like if your baby needs a trach premature birth cerebral palsy like that was my whole reason and my why and not that it's not still my why but also i'm trying to 
I feel like I have to protect the kids a little bit more when it comes to their privacy. So I don't want the whole basis of the channel to be content about my kids. So I I'm going more, it's still motherhood related, but it's gonna be a lot of me, like when I go out, decorating things I'm doing around the house and they'll still be like data lives here and there or like weekend vlogs when I do something fun with the kids that I really want to have memories of excuse me I will definitely do those but I won't be dedicating um like it just won't be all about the kids it's I feel like Instagram and YouTube has been a great outlet for me and building community with other moms like me and moms who aren't like me and just having that for myself being a stay-at-home mom is crucial it, it helps me it's my outlet so yeah that's that's where we're going and I will be posting once a week I will be uploading on Wednesday or Thursday I think it might be Thursday but maybe Wednesday, maybe Wednesday. And I'll be uploading, like I said, different things here and there. If there's something specific that you wanna see from me, let me know in the comments below. And I might upload other videos in between, but I'm gonna say consistently, I'll, I'll be uploading once a week moving forward. I'm in a really good place. I struggled a lot the last eight to ten months that I've been gone year that I've been gone I've struggled a lot and we have been through a lot as a family and now I'm just ready to be back so if you're not already subscribed to the channel go ahead and do so give this video a thumbs up let me know in the comments below what you want to see from me and go follow me on Instagram because I'm more active over there I do like mini vlogs and day in the lives over there which is really fun but it's easier to edit than it is to edit a full video on YouTube so follow me on Instagram it's at growing up kings underscore and I will leave my link in the description obviously and I'll see you guys in the next video bye